Hi, my name is Mark Janicello. I'm an American actor, singer, and television producer from New York, and I now live in London. In 2004, I got a diagnosis of severe arthritis caused by a congenital hip deformity. I had been dancing on bad hips for over 20 years at that point in musicals and operas and operettas, and all of a sudden I could hardly walk, I couldn't sit down, I couldn't lay down, I was in constant pain. Well, the doctors, this was in Holland, I was living in Holland and Amsterdam at the time, said, well, you know, they could break my hips in five spots and try to reset everything. I'd be out of work for nine months and perhaps uh, my pain level would be better, but they couldn't guarantee it. Well, that wasn't a very good prognosis. So I went online and I started researching and I found out that animal protein uh, actually increases inflammation in arthritic conditions and plant protein reduces inflammation. So for no other reason other than I was in a lot of pain, I became vegan in 2004. Well, my pain level dropped in, within a month from about an eight or a nine to about a two. And not only that, I was able to postpone having my right hip replaced uh, for 14 years. I actually just got it replaced in 2018. Um, it, at that time, I didn't know anything about how animals are treated or raised or the industrial food complex. I didn't know about antibiotics or this mass farming and all of those things. I just became vegan because I was in a lot of pain and I thought it could help me, and it did. After a while, of course, I began to understand what's really going on in our food system and I also spiritually came to an awareness uh, of the kind of pain and bad karma I was causing myself uh, by eating animals and animal protein when it wasn't necessary for my survival. I'm turning 60 in November. This is my real skin. This is my real hair. I've never had Botox or plastic surgery. Uh, I've got good genes. My mom looks great, so does my dad. Uh, but most of it comes from my diet. I've got the energy of like a 12-year-old. Sorry to say, but true. And uh, now I've been vegan now since uh, 18, for 18 years. And knowing what I know about how animals are raised and slaughtered and the food, uh, the way our food has been produced, I would never go back uh, to eating anything that's not plant-based. Back then in 2004, it was really difficult. There were no products. It was tofu, there were peanuts and cashews, and I was on tour a lot, so it was really different. Now, being ve going vegan has never been easier. You've got Beyond Meat, you've got Impossible Foods, you've got so many different brands, even Subway, Kentucky Fried Chicken, McDonald's, and Burger King are now offering vegan options. This was unthinkable in 2004. So if you have the opportunity to try to go vegan, start off a little bit at a time. If you don't want to make a big change, go to McDonald's or go to Burger King, try one of their vegan burgers or Kentucky Fried Chicken, their vegan chicken sandwiches, and see, you'll see how tasty and delicious this food can be, how nutritious it is, and you won't miss meat, and you will improve your personal health as well as your karma at the same time. Anyway, that's how I became vegan. Thanks for asking, and if you have any questions, write to me at my email address, which will be at the bottom of the screen. Okay, bye-bye.